Right now we're at the Raleigh Major, uh, Rainbow Six Raleigh Major in uh, North Carolina. This is the second major that we've had for Rainbow Six. You know, we've got about 3,000 people here celebrating Rainbow Six and its community. Really the philosophy of Rainbow Six Esports is that we do want to bring our events to as many fans as possible around the world. We will be in various parts of North America. You know, we're also going to be in Latin America, Brazil, Asia, Europe. So really the idea is we do want to spread the love for Rainbow and all of our fans. We do look at player population for where we have actual events. First we decide what region do we want to do it in, and then in that region when we kind of look at player populations. I mean obviously there are other factors involved too, like you know, how is it host city? Is it a nice place for people to go? How are the venues there? So a lot of different things go into determining location. Raleigh has been fantastic for us. The city has been a great partner. They've really leaned into esports here and they've really helped us put on a great event. North Carolina, are you ready? The development team is obviously super involved with the eSport as well. I mean, they literally design the meta every three months. So yeah, they're very involved with competitive scene in general. Esports is a, is a massive thing and these events are amazing because the community is such a strong part of the game that we always listen to them. And you know, the esports community as a whole is very welcoming. So it's always great to be here and see it. We always pride ourselves in having a super, super strategic first person shooter that you don't really see anywhere else. And that really lends to a pro scene where you can analyze, you can create crazy strategies and just practice, practice, practice shows off when you're looking at something as competitive as the majors. You have this unique blend of strategy, destruction, and first person shooter. You don't really get that anywhere else. The most impressive things about the game, outside of how many different operators we have, is the maps are so dynamic. It's almost like a different map every time you play based on the destruction of the walls and knowing sort of the shortcuts you can take through walls and, and terrain. So for me, the game is just very, very deep and super high skill ceiling. And that is one of the most important things for an esports game is that you need that super high skill ceiling. And I think Rainbow is probably the most skillful shooter esport in the market today. I definitely think there's a strong correlation between the rise of Rainbow Six esports and the continuing success of the game. But I don't think we set out to say, oh, we're going to be an esport, right? I think what we did was we stuck to a very sort of consistent cadence of content release and community support and communication and dialogue and building trust. And I think over time, the eSport itself has grown organically around this content-rich game. The energy of the eSport, I think, really reflects on the success of the game. Uh, and I think the two are uh, closely related, but we don't do, we don't create Rainbow Six purely for the eSport. Team Secret to the semifinals. We do have a very clear path to pro, and we encourage all players, if they have any aspirations to do what they see here, that they first go through Challenger and practice at home. Start playing the game a ton. We have casual and ranked lists. I mean, I think they just really need to start getting sort of used to sort of competitive nature. And then we have grassroots programs that they can get into. You know, we have a Challenger League. They can grab four friends, form a team, join our Challenger tier, and work through that way, and maybe promote into the Pro League eventually. No! It does take a lot of work to put this together and fortunately I have a really good team and we also work with an external agency to help us manage some of these events and obviously the production takes a ton of work as well because we're trying to put on premium quality entertainment so it is a lot of work and it's many sleepless nights but you know it's all kind of come together and um, we're currently hiring. <laughs> Coming up in November, uh, mid-November we have Pro League Finals in Tokoname, Japan, close to Nagoya and that is going to be exciting because one, it is our first finals in Asia, not just Asia but probably one of the biggest esports events to be in Japan ever. Tickets sold out, I think, in like three minutes. Japan is a country with a very sort of nascent esports scene right now. I think it's got a ton of potential. So it's surprising to see Rainbow as popular as it is in Japan. And as a genre, you know, the first person shooter genre hasn't really ever been that popular in Japan. And to see Rainbow do so well there, again, super heartening to me. So I'm super excited to go to the Pro League Finals in Tokoname and uh, hope to see uh, some of your viewers there. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for your top eight teams.